Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy or message for the week for Sagittarius. There was a few cards that turned over, so I'm not going with that. We just want one card, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Just one card for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. So I have the King of Wands, which could be you, male or female energy. So very nice energy indeed. Okay. Message for Sagittarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarius, thank you. For the week. What does Sagittarius need to hear? Thank you. Okay, so Sagittarius, I have two cards. First card is ask for help. I have discernment, which can be a card of seeing the truth of a situation, not how it appears, but how it really is. Reading between the lines, you know, that kind of energy is being discerning. And then we have communication. Okay, so angels, what is the message for Sagittarius, please? Message for Sagittarius, please, for the week. Message for our lovely Sagittarius for the week. Okay, so we have, you are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. Isn't that lovely? Okay. So definitely an energy of you are protected this week. I'm going to pull three cards. Sagittarius, the first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So I have justice. Ten of Coins is advice from Spirit, and the Six of Wands is your outcome. So let's clarify the cards. It's interesting, I've got the Six of Wands again as I cut the cards. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, please, for Sagittarius. 25th of January to the 31st of January 2021. For the sign of Sagittarius, please, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Okay, so I have the Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles is clarified with the Six of Cups. And the Eight of Cups. Is clarified by the eight of, sorry, the six of wands is clarified with the eight of cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the fool. There is a message here, Sagittarius. I'm going to clarify the Justice card, card of Libra. Let's clarify this Justice card for Sagittarius, please. It's interesting, I've got the Queen of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed is generally about um, Reconnection to self, but it's interesting because we have the Queen of Wands and we have it with the King of Wands. It feels like a relationship here. It feels like something is nearly over. Or someone's holding back from it being over. Interesting energy. Because the Queen of Wands... <laughs> 
the Queen of Wands, a male or female energy, and Gemini and Aries for me as a reader, but can be you, Sagittarius, or another fire sign, or somebody who represents the energy of somebody who's confident, magnetic, you know, um, a go getter, an action energy, that kind of thing. Um, it feels in this energy, I mean. With the Justice card, I mean, it can be to do with legal situations. There's definitely an energy here of somebody who has struggled to move on from the past. The Nine of... I'm definitely getting this Nine of Wands. Something is nearly over. You're one wand away from something completing here. It feels like something is nearly over here, Sagittarius, I have to say. Some of you might be reconnecting to family. It feels in this situation, it, what I'm definitely getting is there is a, an energy of self-respect, self-love here, uh, establishing a sense of self, what you stand for again, having gone through, and it could have been some legal situation. Um, justice can be a legal situation. It feels to do with a relationship because I've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. And just as if it is in the light of truth, it can be a decision that restores balance in a situation if it's a legal decision. In the challenge position, it feels that something is nearly over, it's coming to a close. You know, because the Nine of Wands is one away from a Ten of Wands, which is completion. So your challenge is... It feels to re-establish that sense of self, having gone through some kind of justice, legal proce proceedings or whatever. There's definitely an energy of you are safe, you are protected, you are being guided. I'm definitely getting this energy. I mean, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, yes, this can be to do with marriage, but it, it can also be to do with family and the importance of family and reconnecting to family to bring emotional equilibrium in your life. And I'm definitely getting that here. So some of you may well be going back to your family, you know, having some kind of relationship not worked out for you. There's definitely this kind of energy of, you might be reconnecting to the family. You know, the, the 10 of pentacles can be a card of family, generations of family. Uh, and also, you know, the stars watching over the family, you can see the pentacles dotted all over the family in the shape of the tree of life is, is an energy of your being watched over by your ancestors' guides. So there's, there's a great energy of the spirit world, you know, people who have gone before you, generations before you are watching over you, but you're also being watched over and reconnecting to your family. And it's the importance of family, falling back on your family. Because it's helping you move on. You know, the Ace of Cups is moving on. Um, turning your back on something that doesn't serve you anymore, something that's played out, something that may have been disappointing. You're saying goodbye to it, moving on, turning your back on it. And again, I've got the back being turned here again. You know, the, the Six of Wands. It's a card of a, an achievement, a victory over a difficult challenge. So, I mean, justice might well go in your favor here. There's definitely, you know, because there's a victory and, you know, justice can be linked with some victory. Certainly if you're going through some legal situation, it feels that you will get balance back in your life. Now, if it's to do with other situations, I mean, it feels to, to me like a relationship here. Justice can be about doing the right thing for you now, restoring balance to the situation, you know, it's, it feels like that kind of energy. Uh, 
um, you know, it can be a card of karma as well. Actions have consequences. So, you know, how you act, how others act towards you is judged by the universe and karma is, is uh, assigned accordingly. So there's definitely this kind of energy. It feels like some kind of karma is on your side, some kind of victory. Uh, victory over some kind of challenge coming through the other side of a situation here, Sagittarius, because you're ready for the new beginning. You're walking away and you're ready for this new beginning. And it is an optimistic new beginning with the Fool. The Fool carries very little baggage. So it feels in this situation what you have carried with you, the baggage of the past, the Nine of Wands, you've released. You've released with this victory uh, and put it behind you. You know, and there's a light, this is a really light energy, the fool, it's air energy generally, ready to take a leap of faith into unknown territory, a new beginning, a new chapter of your life. Because it feels like a relationship has ended. But it's, it's definitely stressing the importance of family in bringing some kind of happiness, joy and emotional equilibrium back into your life. So let's clarify this King of Wands. Let's clarify this King of Wands for Sagittarius. I feel that the Queen of Wands is either you, reversed, or this King of Wands is you. But it feels like you're, this, this is, it feels like a relationship split, but the Fool is a card of anticipation. It's anticipating what the future holds, uh, looking to the future you know, and being ready for it, you know, it's that kind of, I'm ready to jump straight in, you know, the six of wands is somebody who comes through challenge and feels pretty good about it, you know, it can be a card of public recognition as well, especially if something wasn't fair, you know, it might well be that, you know, things are going in your favour, whichever way this is, people's opinions and so on, so we have the four of pentacles, I mean, you know, the, the King of Wands, on one hand, the Four of Pentacles can be about bringing security back into your life, stability, uh, safety, you know, that kind of energy. It can well be a card of self-preservation. So if this is you, Sagittarius, because we're dealing with Wands energy here, so it feels in this situation you have the opportunity to bring stability, security into your life. Again, this King could be male or female energy. Um... If it's to do with the other person in your life, there's definitely this energy of they're still holding on. You know, they're still holding on, but I do feel for some of you, you are putting it behind you. You know? So it feels in this situation, take it as you will. Reading between the lines, ask for help is really important because I definitely feel for some of you, your family are stepping in to help you. And you know, keeping you safe, protected, secure. So I definitely feel some protective energy with you. Um, and again, that's what the Archangel Michael card was all about. You're protected, guided. You are, because this is a wonderful protective energy of the family network, spiritual and also in the real world too. <laughs> so I love the energy for that reason. Um, and it feels like they're helping you reconnect to who you are and allow you to open a new door, move on, put a difficult challenge behind you. And it feels like it was in a relationship. It's a powerful reading, Sagittarius. And it felt quite complicated at first. But the more you go into it, the, the better it feels in terms of coming through the other side of this. And it feels very, very optimistic. Remember, the Fool is number zero in the Major Arcana. Anything's possible. It's a blank canvas. Write your own story. You know, it's that kind of energy. So I am going to pull a final card. Yeah, we have Flamingo Unity Heart. You are being called on to work on collective healing. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Um, I feel that you'll find that Unity Heart as well. You know, the union of your heart again. You know, where it might have been shattered in a relationship. It feels like that's coming back to you. I've got a few cards here. So, Starfish, Intuition, Listen to Your Soul's Truth, Think Less, Feel More. We have Fox, Shadow Work, There Are No Shadows Without Light. And finally, yes, this is very much the Libra card, the Justice card, Balance, Restoring Balance. 
ask how to bring balance back to the situation and into your heart and I feel that's what you're doing and taking steps to do that so it feels very beautiful so I hope you enjoyed the reading Sagittarius if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time thank you